Welcome to Mikey Balls Fishing. I got kind of a cool treat for you. So a buddy of mine caught the lake record and it is gigantic for uh, Lewis Smith Lake. So he's actually gonna, he's gonna meet us out here in a little bit. We're gonna go pick him up from the dock and um, he's gonna take us out. He sight fished it. So he's gonna run through the process. Hopefully we can maybe pick up on a bed fish and kind of walk through his process and learn how he sight fishes those fish, kind of triggers them, gets them aggressive and, and triggers them to bite. We're gonna go through that. But until then, we're gonna throw some top water, catch a few. And then when he gives us a call, we're gonna hook up, but stay tuned. I really think that you are going to enjoy this video. And dude, he caught one dude gigantic for for this lake it is a monster i can't wait to hear his story about it dude but it's always cool to hook up with young anglers so stay tuned for that but let's let's catch some fish till then right that's a better one dude she just sucked it under she barely even came up after it oh yeah Oh, dude, and there's there's a second one with her, trying to take the bait from her. God, dude, I try to catch it. There's like four of them. Look out, Paul! Look out! <laughs> Guys, look at that spot, dude. It's like a three and a half pound spot. I mean, annihilated it, dude. Absolutely annihilated it. So we're gonna hook up with my buddy Cole in a little bit. But look at that thing. That is a stud, dude. Oh. All right, guys, so here's what we got going on. Cole here has the lake record, and we're gonna talk about that in a bit, oh, but he has the lake record for Lewis Smith Lake, a gigantic fish, 12, <coughs> 12, John. So he caught that fish on the bed. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna show us kind of his process. We got about a, a three, three and a half pound fish on a bed. She's pretty much locked in, she's moving back and forth, but he's gonna kind of go through the process where he's pitching that, that what, what do you got on actually? Uh, just a pearl rage curl on a shaky head. Oh. The shaky head lets it stand, stand up. up. Okay. And you just barely jig it like this, and then little pictures just move back and forth. And now, do you see her coming up and being interested, or how? What kind of attitude is she is she giving you right now? Oh, that's awesome. She's uh, not very happy. She's just swimming. Whenever they start swimming back and forth, back and forth, back and forth like that, they're not they're not ready to eat. I don't reckon, but they're getting there. So you just pitch right there on her bed, and then just let it sit. So guys, the bed's right in the V of that, that tree. And honestly, it's super hard. Like Cole's like, it's right there. And I'm like, where? And he's like, right there. And it's not like a like a Florida bed where it's like this super yellow spot. It's just kind of a little opening. And then it, it's a little bit swept She's off. Getting She's getting angry. Whenever I pitched it over there, she darted this way. And now she turned back and she's coming back to her bed. Very Look. Get a few jigs now. She's swimming away. She's turning on it. Yeah, but she keeps coming back and getting interested. Yeah. Got her. He got her. Dude, he got her. <laughs> cool. And she come off. She come off. Dude, boat. that was absolutely awesome, dude. And she went from like zero to a hundred in two seconds. Dude, look at that joker. How, but. Dude, daps. <laughs> that is, a, that is an awesome fish. All right, guys, you got it. Let's get her released real quick here. What a beautiful fish, dude. She goes. That was an illustration of absolute patience and just stubborn, being more stubborn than the bass. So, Cole, let, let's run through this real quick because right. I, what did this take? Like about. 30 minutes or so? Yes, sir. 20, 25, 30 minutes. What setup are you using to um, to pitch? Like, you kind of talked to me a little bit about it, but like, tell me exactly what you're doing here. So I just basically got like a shaky head with a pearl rage crawl, and I just threw it in there. I'm using 14 pound fluorocarbon on a seven three foot SLX rod, uh, seven to two gear ratio reel, nothing special. Um, 
I just flip it in there and these shaky heads, they let the bait sit like that and you just barely wiggle it, barely wiggle it, barely wiggle it. And I never took it off of her bed that last time for probably three minutes, three or four minutes. Oh, it's probably longer than that, dude. It didn't seem that long to me. I was just so focused on her, but then she just come in there and clobbered it and then you just <laughs> lay into them. So yeah, guys, let's look great. really close right here because we're kind of up on top of it, but basically there's a split in that log and it's swept off right in the middle and Cole kind of found the juice, which was way back kind of wedged in there. You could see actually he hung a bait on there and we had to break it off so we wouldn't blow out the bed, but he's getting way back in that sweet spot and just hopping in and keep it in one place. And she finally, literally, dude, she went from zero to 100 in like 30 seconds. She was swimming around, swimming around, and then just darted in and clobbered it. Dude, that was, that was awesome. It's just, oh, just see if you can slam back. And you just kind of, that back corner, and then I don't know if we're drawing them out because I got hung, and I went back. <laughs> dude, different bait, just following her up. Nice job, homie. Oh, look looking for the dog, dude. We saw this fish following it, dude. <laughs> and he threw back, he followed my bait, and then Cole threw back with something a little bigger, something a little different that they haven't seen, and she chowed it. So guys, I teased this at the beginning of the video, but Cole caught what is unofficially the lake record, but it was caught during a tournament, dude. And it's a large mouth. And now, keep in mind, we're in Northwest Alabama, and it's caught on Smith Lake. How big was that thing? Uh, 12, 18, 12.1 12. 12. to 8. 12, 18. Uh, or 12 pounds, 4 ounces. <laughs> you see he's done the math. Dude. He's, he's got it dialed in. That is an absolute giant. An absolute giant. And the coolest part about it is, just like kind of what you saw him going through the process when we caught that sight fish, that's how he caught it. But I think this story is awesome. So I'm going to let him tell it to you. And I always like highlighting these young anglers. And he kind of got screwed. You were doing high school fishing, right? Yes. Yeah, so he got screwed by the coronavirus, just like everybody else. So I want to make sure his story gets out because he's not going to be able to do like his last year of high school fishing. But this kind of tops it off. So tell me how this went down, dude. So basically me and my brother, uh, that's who I fished with, we went to this creek and uh, there was fish that we found in the very back. And uh, we caught some fish that morning. Uh, we were just fishing a little three fish tournament out of the park. And uh, we didn't really have much. I mean, we had like, I guess enough to win it because second place was 10 pounds. I think we had around like 10 pounds. But we were like, we need one more fish. And so it went in this pocket and my brother catches one about four pounds. And we go back in there and after he caught that one, we're just cruising around looking to see if we can find some on bed because we found them kind of, I guess, schooled up, about to go on bed in the back of that creek. And he looks and he's like, I think one just waked. And I was like, yeah, that looks like one that just waked. And he's like, oh my gosh, that's a fish. And this fish is so big in the water, I'm telling him, no, that's a log. And he's like, no. And he skips his swim jig in there and he kind of like, pops it by its face and that fish starts swimming out and I'm like oh my gosh I was like that's an absolute giant so then I was doing what I did earlier just flipped a pack of crawl in there on a shaky head and I was my brother told me not to use fluorocarbon I was like well I didn't really listen to him I didn't think it was going to be 12 pounds and anyways I hooked the fish after messing with it for about 45 minutes and then she goes up under a cable and she jumps and we're trying to net her and she darts back up under a dock where we were fishing beside and she breaks me off. And at that point, I'm like, oh my gosh, I just lost a giant. And I knew it was my personal best whenever she come off. And well, we're kind of upset about it and we just go fishing some more. And we're like, dude, and it's eating us alive. We're like, we need to go back and see if that fish is still there. Well, sure enough, we went back like 30 minutes later and she was there. And my brother gets his swim jig and he's messing with her, messing with her, messing with her, trying to catch her, trying to get a reaction out of her. And she just would never bite. And he uh, goes down to the bottom of the boat to get a drink. And I pick up his swim jig, throw in there, second pop in there, she just clobbers it. And I lay into her. And this fish was so heavy. I just, it was crazy. I thought I broke a rib, honestly, whenever I set the hook. And 
I just horsed her in and we got her in the boat and I was like, oh my gosh, that's that's an 11 pounder. <laughs> God, dude, that's an 11 pounder. Oh my, oh my God. God, dude. Holy oh. crap. And I thought I was big eyeing her at first and we get up to the tournament and we're like, we got a bag. And this guy pulls up beside us and he's like, y'all got him? We're like, ah, a little bit. And we, Sandbagger. Yeah. <laughs> and we go up to the scales and I mean, just everybody starts taking their phones out, taking pictures of this fish because nobody's ever seen a fish this big on this lake before. And I was just, it was just an unbelievable day. So the funny part that, that Cole told me on the phone that I love is, so he went back and caught him on braid. So you finally upgraded to the braid, yeah, 65. 65 braid. But then he was telling me, dude, we had basically like a dip net. <laughs> <laughs> like a little like crappie like net crappie dude net. and he said his brother was like he got the head in there and his brother was like jamming the the tail of the fish into the net like kind of like you know how they always tell you in baseball like use two hands when you catch the ball like he's like jamming it in dude to brick and land the fish i mean just an absolutely amazing story but just shout out to him cole where can they find you on instagram dude if they want to go see the fish in that uh cole farmer underscore two i think Cool farmer underscore two. Yeah. Go Thank check you. him out. He's got that 12 pounder up there on Instagram. It is a monster, dude. Like an absolute monster. It, it's cool. Go check him out. Give him a Cole follow. Farmer 20. Cole Farmer 20. Yes. On Instagram. So go check him out. Check out the 12 pounder. That's where you can see it. And uh, we're going to go try to catch some more fish. Lord, look at all those yeah. Pots. Oh, we're chasing the herring. The herring are right in front, dude. Oh, dude. You got him. Got it. Keep, keep it down. Keep it down. Keep it down. Dude, look, 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 look. I'm about to get you get two. Mm. Yeah. Look. Oh I'm about to get you get two. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Look. Oh, God. Dude. dude, that's a big old spot, dude. Look at Buck, Buck, Buck. Buck. Did you see him just like cruising? There was a whole pot of them. Well, dude, I saw the herring in front and I looked back and there they were. We can catch them again, dude. We gotta like set back up and long. Dude, that was insane. That... I was trying, they were trying to eat it out of his mouth. See, that's what they were doing the other day. But that's the wolf pack thing I'm telling yeah. you about, dude. They're like, they're cruising up these hair. That was nuts. The insanity continues. Look at that spot, dude. That is a beautiful spot. Let's get her released right here real quick. And then we're gonna tell you a quick story. Cole is, is taking me to school, dude, but we were seeing some craziness. Let's just go see. What do you want? You want to eat more? So here's what happened. We push back in this pocket and you can see it's super duper shallow right here. And Cole's like, look at those spots. And I'm like, dude, they're chasing. There was a pot of herring about five to eight feet in front of them. And they were just kind of corralling the herring up, dude. And there was like six or seven spots under us. You didn't even catch the biggest one. The biggest no. one was circling around under your bait, right. dude. There was another one, probably like three, three and change maybe. And dude, they were coming up trying to eat his bait. So we're going to reset. I doubt we'll be able to catch him, but we're going to reset and give it a try. Try to break my shaft here. Oh, let's, can you cast or you're good? Do we own? Yep. That's a good one too. Keep her out, keep her out, keep her out. Oh dude. Keep her out of the tree, keep her out of the tree. Oh my god, dude. Look, look oh how long, dude. <laughs> Dude, the craziness keeps happening. Look at this spot. That's like, a, that's a legit three pound spot, dude. Maybe three and change how fat that thing is. Dude, look at that. So, so me and Cole are chasing these, these pods are running fish. Let's let her go real quick, dude. There's gotta be more back there too. So we, we're, dude, we're stuck on a log right here and we're casting all the way back into this pocket and I keep shooting video and then Cole gets to cast. I'm kind of screwing myself. We get after. Don't do that, dude. Yeah. But dude, I'm talking. They gotta be in. I'd say a foot of water, maybe less. And they're they're corralling all these herring or even these little minnows. I don't even know what they are. And dude, he. I mean, he smoked it. Smoked it. Well, Cole, my man, that was cool. Thanks for kind of like walking me through, like learning all that stuff. Once again, you can check Cole out. What's your Instagram? Cole Farmer Twenty. Cole Farmer 20. I'll put a link to it down in the description box. If you're trying to look for bedfish, uh, I think that's a pretty strong walkthrough. And this guy, lake record, dude. A 12 pound plus. That's like such a gigantic fish for this lake. You have no idea. That, and I broke it off. Came back and caught it. But dude, I had a blast. Thanks for all the insights. Yes, Thanks sir. for all the learning. So some sick top water bites, dude. It was pretty cool. Bog, do you enjoy it? Or are you you're pretty much done? 
<laughs> You're done. Um, remember Rage Crawl on a little shaky head. We also caught him. Show me that bait. What was that? It's like a little. It's just an H2O Express little prop bait. It's a little prop bait. And that green back, he kind of swears by it. Like he got some big bluffs, but it's bigger than I. And he had like that that wolf pack chase him. I had a few eat my gunfish, but they didn't seem as committed to it, dude. There's something magical about that prop bait when we we're just kind of casting to these fish that are chasing bait and kind of corralling bait. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Go check Cole out, and we will see you back out on the water fishing, maybe in from the bass cave. But just stay strong through all this this stuff, dude. Everybody's going through tough times. Get out, fish, get some fresh air enjoy some fishing dude like it'll it'll take your mind off of things and keep the lines tight peace